I think by now we could probably all agree that the iPhone 13 mini is a really close to perfect phone. But as we all know, nothing is perfect. And to get things a little bit closer to perfection, there are of course accessories. And with Apple, luckily they introduced MagSafe and there are a variety of MagSafe accessories that I thought were really, really good and I want to share with you all. So in this video, let's talk about my favorite MagSafe accessories for the iPhone 13 mini. First on my list is a Snap-on wallet from Moft. It is a cool alternative to the more expensive MagSafe wallet that Apple offers, but it has a little bit of extra features. The wallet is slim and pretty aesthetic. The color I chose was the brown version, but you get a few other color options. It also holds up to three cards and is handy for those that don't want to carry around a wallet. But the really cool thing about this wallet is the fact that it has a stand. It's built into the wallet, and that means that you can use it for doing things like watching content, maybe taking some FaceTime calls at your desk. It can do it all because of the kickstand that's built in. All you have to do is adjust the wallet, and you can have three different modes, including landscape, portrait, or floating mode, which I really like. I think it works really well with the iPhone 13 mini and make sure that if I'm on the go and I need my cards with me, they're right on the phone. I don't really need to think about it too much. So by now you've probably heard of a brand called Anchor. They make a lot of iPhone accessories, including cables and chargers. And also to combat Apple with their MagSafe battery pack, Anchor also released their own version of the MagSafe battery pack. And that is the Anchor 521. This is a power bank that you could attach to the back of your iPhone 13 mini, and it allows you to charge around 90% or more of your dead iPhone battery with its built-in 5,000 milliamp per hour battery. This has come super clutch for me, especially when I'm on the go. But not only that, let's say you're in a place, but you're not near a wall outlet you wanna charge up, then you simply snap it on the back and you're good to go. Besides not always needing to carry around a cable, this also has another cool feature which the official MagSafe wallet does not have. And that is at the bottom, you have an on and off switch. You also get an LED indicator that lets you know how much juice the battery pack has left. And the best part yet, this charger costs only $49.99, which is half of the price of the Apple version. And it can charge it more than the Apple version can. With that said though, the Apple battery pack does have some other cool features that the Anchor does not. Besides having a slimmer design overall, it's a lot thinner and feels a little bit better in your pocket to carry around than the Anchor version. This one also has more iOS integration, so you can use your iPhone and easily see the battery life of the battery pack while you're using your phone. A big edge that I would seriously give to the Apple version is the fact that it's made from Apple. It's gonna be the most friendly to your battery life. You can just use the Apple version and you kind of have that peace of mind that it's gonna really take care of your battery. Now at $99, the Apple version is quite steep, so if I was to choose between the two, I would pick the Anchor version, but the Apple version is still pretty good. Next up is probably my second most used accessory out of them all. And this is the active wireless car mount from Sandmark. And what this is, is a mount in your car that allows you to easily plop on the iPhone 13 when you're on the go without needing to use extra cables or really fidget with it. Because it's MagSafe, you're quite easily able to just connect it to your dock. And if you're using GPS or navigation, you can easily see where you're going. So honestly, I really like it, but that's not the best part about it. The best part about it is that it also is a charger. It provides a 7.5 watt output and you're not going to need to plug in a lightning cable into your phone to charge it. And if you are interested in it, the link is gonna be below in the description, but also the links to everything I mentioned in this video will also be below. So support the channel, go get it through one of those links. The last, but certainly not least on my list is the ESR Halo MagSafe Alternative. While the ESR version looks a lot like the original MagSafe 
Magic Charger in terms of size and design. It has a few cool features. It is made of aluminum and it has a really premium feel, but the most prominent design choice is the fact that it has a kickstand and that means that you can use it to watch content as well or you can just use it without charging the phone as a standalone kickstand. Again, this is super handy if you're at your desk and you're taking a FaceTime call, you can easily just prop it up and use it or you can use it to, you know, reference your phone while you're on your computer. There's a whole bunch of uses that you can get out of this kickstand. It has a longer cable which is handy for using this in bed and going back to charging, this thing has an 18 watt power delivery, which means that it's not gonna charge too slowly. I'm able to easily charge up my phone within the hour. And the ESR MagSafe charger is also a lot cheaper than the official Apple version. All right, so that will be it. If you have any other MagSafe accessory suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I'm definitely interested to hear all of your thoughts. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you found this video useful and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.